Q&A portion na lang. The judge will be asking your question. Let's go, Miss Baguio. You got this, Miss Baguio. Good evening, Miss Baguio. Good evening, Miss Diane. You're gorgeous. Thank you. You, you are super gorgeous. So my question yeah, is, Trans women athletes are now being allowed to compete in women's sports events in many international competitions. Do you think that this is a step in the right direction? Why or why not? I am Tough all question. for equality with all genders and I believe that we have the right to participate in any sports. However, I believe that there's a biological reason that we should not allow trans women in the women category because I believe that there's a right time for that and there's right measurements to be done. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Baggio. Next, we have Miss Pampanga. Miss Pampanga! Let's go, Pampanga! Your judge, Miss Pampanga, is Attorney Annette Gozon Valdez. Hello, this is my question. There were calls by some sectors to ban movies and TV shows that portray the Philippines in a bad light. Should we? Why or why not? I believe that in every aspect there are two things. There are the good and the bad. But it's in the matter of how we receive the images that we are sharing about the Philippines. We always share the good, the beauty, in the Philippines, but we must also accept that in every aspect there is the bad, and we must learn and grow from the world. And hopefully, we see Philippines for the good and the bad and celebrate them and allow oh. us to appreciate the country. Oh. Thank you, Miss Mamba. She ate the microphone. Next, we have Miss Bohol. Miss Bohol! Ah! This is her moment. It's now or never. Hit the microphone. Your question, Miss Bohol, will be coming from our representative, Yeda Marie Rojuales. Let's go, Polly. There are reports of online sexual exploitation of women and children. As a woman, how do we make the digital space safe for you and other women and children? I make the digital space safe by taking the lead in that action, by making sure that what I put out there is the truth and is also a message of hope for everyone else. And for anyone that finds himself or herself in such a situation, know that there are people out there who will be able to help you, reach out to you, and make sure that you will be able to get through this, and we can make a difference together. Ah, Thank you, Miss Bohol. Let's go, Bohol. Next, we have Miss Sambales. Your question, Ms. Sambales, will be coming from Mr. Lloyd Lee. Hi, good evening. Ms. Sambales, oh, here's my question. A recent Goldman Sachs study found that artificial intelligence tools, or AI, could impact 300 million full-time jobs worldwide, which could lead to a significant disruption in the job market. What do you think of this? We are moving forward progress and growth, but change is not always about progress. We have to consider that manpower really pulls up the economic development of each and every country. We have to put importance in each and every person, Whoa. making their crops be thin in each and every aspect in the country. So we have to balance 
the AI and also the importance of having manpower in the country. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Oh my god. Let's go, Makate! It's now or never, girl! Woo! I'm Kupan. Your question will be coming from Congressman Sam S.B. Versosa. Let's go! Ms. Makate. Good evening. Here's your question Income inequality is still high in the Philippines. The gap between the rich and the poor remains. How do we close that gap? I think first we have to recognize what we have and the privileges that we have, such as food, education, and homes. I think the best way to address this is really through education because education holds no status quo. And every Filipino child has the right to an education, but not just any education, but quality education. Can provide this to every Filipino child, then we can not only elevate their quality of life, but we can empower them as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so good. Oh, Great good. job, ladies. That was it. Top 5 QA. <laughs> They will answer only one question. The other four delegates will wear noise canceling headphones. Round two Again, for the QA. Thirty seconds answer. After 30 seconds, you will hear the sound. Here we go. Gentlemen, headphones on. Okay. We start off with Baggio. Let's go, Baggio. Let's go, Krishna. How are you feeling, Radio? I'm feeling grateful right now to be united in the top five. Thank you so much for your support. Your question is, recently, the Department of Tourism has adopted a new branding campaign. We give the world our best. For you, what is the best that we could offer to the rest of the world? Why do you consider it so? Having to struggle at a very early age, I had uncertainties, but I received kindness a lot of times. So now, aside from it's free, I give kindness to everyone. Because this kindness can go a long way, can motivate someone, or can give radiance to their days. Because this kindness also made me transform myself from a woman who had nothing to a lady that has a universe in her doorstep. Let's go, Miss Baggio! Very good. Please stay there. Pampanga! It's your time to shine, Angelic. Let's go. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Recently, the Department of Tourism has adopted a new branding campaign. We give the world our best. For you, what is the best that we could offer to the rest of the world? Why do you consider it so? I come here not just sharing my story, but the mm -hmm. multitude of stories that we have yet to hear, especially for those who are struggling in mental health. I believe the best that we could do and we could share is to remember and to remind everyone of the humanity in us, the empathy that has been inside of us all along, and to unlock it so that we could provide more humanity in humanity. The best way to share that is to allow people safe spaces for mental health so we can further this advocacy and more. Thank you. This is probably one of the best Q&A's that I have ever heard so far. Everyone is good, consistent. But we are not done yet. Miss <laughs> Bohol! Let's go, Miss Bohol! Miss Bohol, you have plenty of fans. Do you want to greet them? Maju Gabi! Woo! You 
got this, Pauline. Recently, the Department of Tourism has adopted a new branding campaign. We give the world our best. For you, what is the best that we could offer to the rest of the world? Why do you consider it so? The best that we offer to the world is the Filipino warmth. It is something that we feel in other countries when we see other Filipino communities, but it's something we feel even more evidently here in the Philippines. And with this slogan at heart, with this value within us, we'll be able to bring so many people together to make a meaningful change out there and show them the best the Philippines has to offer. Zambales. Your question is, recently, the Department of Tourism has adopted a new branding campaign. We give the world our best. For you, what is the best that we could offer to the rest of the world? Why do you consider it so? The best that we can give to this world is to be of good cause to find our purpose, to wake up every single day, be grateful that you still have the chance to lead and to see the beauty of life, to find your purpose and make something out of it, to create a great change for the people around you, yourself, your family, and your community. And I hope we strive for betterment and development of each and every individual. And last but not the least, please step forward, Ms. Makati. <laughs> You've been my How are you doing? <laughs> Feeling grateful to be standing here in front of all of you once again. Okay. Go, Michelle! Your question is, recently the Department of Tourism has adopted a new branding campaign. We give the world our best. For you, what is the best that we could offer to the rest of the world? Why do you consider it so? The Philippines is home to very beautiful natural resources. From the beaches, the mountains, but I firmly believe that the best natural resource that the Philippines has is us Filipinos. We are the heart and soul of the Philippines with the way we are hospitable, with the warm smiles. And we are the reason why the world keeps coming back for more. <laughs> the universe takes me. I will always be proud to call the Philippines my home. And no matter what happens, I will always be proud to call myself Pinoy. Thank you, Papati. Ladies and gentlemen, our top five. Once again, this year's final five.